cooking tacos, man. It's taco time. Get some ground beef all cooked up here. Three pounds of ground beef, man. I don't mess around when we cook tacos. We cook it for like three days worth of tacos. I want to run out of tacos, man. Shit ton of meat. <laughs> yeah. Prefer more of a stronger, more sturdy spatula. This thing's kind of flimsy, but that'll work. We make it work. fried beans, big old can of that, we're going to go ahead and open that up, start cooking that puppy. Chop that up. that on occasion. <laughs> Make a mess of this shit. You might use a separate thing to stir it. Funny is this uh, this frying pan I'm using doesn't even have a handle. <laughs> so as you trim the grease, it's a little more challenging for me. I don't even have a handle on this sucker. 
got this. I know, right? You guys are like thinking, huh, he's got a man that handle on right then. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Honestly, guys, I, I mostly cook in the oven and the microwave. I don't cook too often. It's a rare moment, y'all. That's why I don't have, like, awesome cooking stuff. Okay. I think we'll get there. Stir this up a bit. I'm going to burn our refried beans, so they'll just be straight up fried beans. Uh, you get what I'm saying. Alright. Okay. The meat is browning very nicely. Chop that up as fine as can be. Or brown butter too, if you do that. Just keep chopping it up and stirring it up. See if I cannot shed any tears.
up over here. Pretty good. Tears trying to come and start to feel the power of the onion. <laughs> a lot of onion. When you chop it open like this, it really starts to affect you. Resist the power of the onion. After cutting the onion, you might want to wash your hands a little bit just in case uh, you try to rub your eye or something. And that shit hurts. I don't want to do that. There we go. Look at all that onion. Green onions. All right, so now we're doing our green onions. Like I did with the onion, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off real good. 
especially this because it's not like a skin. This is what you're actually eating. So you're not really going to want to rinse this skin. I don't know why these green onions look like this, but uh, when I looked at them, all I could think of is, is not a tumor. <laughs> they look like big, dude. What the hell? Like these things get tumors and shit. That was pretty funny. Okay. So now we chop up our green onions real fine. Those guys aren't like big like that, they don't have tumors. Spices it up. Uh, we're supposed to use one of these taco seasoning packets per pound. At three pounds. Technically, I don't think you'd probably need three packets for the three pounds. But I like to keep it really nice and flavorful, you know what I mean? So, uh, that's what I do. Okay. Three packets. You need a cup of water, but there's a trick. You only take just a little bit off the top when you rip this thing, and you fill this thing up with water. And it's a cup of water every time you do it. Special little trick, y'all. Sharing my secrets. There's one cup of water. Two cups of water. And we have three cups of water. There we go. We'll stir that up real nicely. We'll turn up the 
stove a little bit on it, get it to kind of boil. You just want to get the start to boil. Really, all you're trying to do stir it up real good so that the meat gets marinated in this stuff. Okay. for this sucker. It's just been in there for a while. It's really a little dusty, so I can rinse it off. This kitchen could use a little cleaning, that's for sure. Kind of neglected it. Bring this a little bit more of a boil. And then we'll put the lid on it and lower the temperature. Okay, now we're going to do some tomatoes. We'll dice up our tomatoes. Okay. Goodbye. So now, with each of my tomatoes here, I'm going to rinse them off. Tomatoes are all cut up. They go to the garbage. Uh, there's our tomatoes. I'm gonna find another container for them. Figure that out here in a second. Um, I could stuff them in this bowl with the green onions. Yeah, I might do that. I'm trying to make like a half and half thing. So many of them. You're taking over the green in. That'll actually work pretty good there. Alright, on. Let's see here. So we got everything we need as far as veggies go. About ready to eat here. Oh uh, yeah. Stir that up. Mmm, that smells good. Oh, damn. That smells really good. Okay. We got our, our 
sour cream. I have the sour cream, man. We got a big thing of Mexican cheese already shredded. I don't like to have to shred my cheese, so I just buy it like that. Of course, we got taco shells. And we got some Italian crunchy romaine lettuce with red cabbage. That should be a good addition to the meal here. I have a Safeway brand bacon ranch dressing. Go with that. And of course, you can't forget, gotta have a little hot sauce. And I have my favorite, La Victoria hot sauce. Hell yeah. Shop bam. And that, my friends, is what I do when I make tacos. Taco night. Now it's time to eat. We got a big fat taco right here. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, this is unreal flavor, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> right on, y'all. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Leave me a thumbs up if you would, y'all, and um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one, y'all. Peace out.